And like the heading says about my 2023 live rig, the whole shebang. Basically, it's here what you see. So, signal chain, and then I'll discuss a little bit, tell you why and how and you know. So, usually I carry two guitars with me, you know, main and spare, or they're not main and spare. The Sometimes I play with one, sometimes with one, sometimes with both, live, whatever I feel. And I carry them in this Quantum Industries case for three guitars. And actually the third is my amplifier, what I carry here. So, Blue Guitars Amp 1, classic channel, to me, that's like ACM 800. I only use one channel, so this, this used to be on my board. The case was, the board was a bit big and really heavy so i decided to you know separate the amp from the from the pedal board so it's a blue guitar amp one the classic channel no noise gauge nothing here just like your daisy m800 you know and now it goes to my marshall 1960 bv cabinet with vintage marshall speakers and i'm miking one of them with two sm57s in the fredman, fredman style so this is a 100 watt nanotube band the cool thing is when it's here, when I play, it makes the same noise than these, you know, bigger brothers, because it's analog. I like analog. I don't like digital at all. <laughs> okay, so that's that. So speaker out goes there. Live, I have this also, these uh, new neighbors iconoclast, which simulates, emulates a speaker. It does it really well. Our, our front of house guy, our mixing engineer, actually always use this. So there's uh, two cables. Uh, one comes from the line out or rec out here. This has an impulse response. I have bypassed it. I can't remember how, but uh, Thomas Bloch has done a great video to his website. I'll put a link in the description. How you can bypass, you need to press certain things. So it bypasses the, the built-in IR. So it's a you know, line signal to the new neighbor iconoclast. This is really simple. There's not like IR, it's just like cabinet. And then you can switch more bottom, more mids, less mids, you know, more treble, whatever. So, and then two out, because our front of house guy wants to have two out, probably for some stereo delay. So whatever he, whatever he likes to use, because I'm up there on the stage, I'm, I'm usually bone dry, like old school, you know, one good sound. So uh, it goes to this, these two cables from the out goes to Radials JDY Stereo Jensen Transformer Equipped DI Box and then two XLRs to front of house actually via the monitor desk and however they route this, you know, not my problem, I just play guitar there. So anyway, two XLRs, a front of house guy gets uh, two signals from me so he can do whatever he wants. Because, you know, that's what mixing engineers do. We players, we play. I'm also a mixing engineer, but I don't do live. I just mix albums. <clears throat> and uh, so that's that. And then if, if, it's a, if it's a small stage or whatever, I don't necessarily need to use a cabinet because we use in-ears. So uh, I'm usually listening to this one with in-ears. And then bigger stage, I can have the cabinet just for, because you know how it is, you know, with one or two Marshall cabinets, you know, you're giving you the, the thump and sometimes I just take one in here off. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that.
Simple setup, 100 watt non-tube amp. Sounds great, like you heard. And the pedal board. So, the signal now, it's this cable straight to the drop pedal from Digitech. Live, we use wireless, so I have a wireless transmitter. Then the wireless rack is on the side of the stage and there's big antennas. From the wireless receiver, there's a cable coming to the guitar in, like now I have just this. So what this does, because we have kind of two different tunings. We have standard C, and then a drop from that. <laughs> then we have drop A. There's a couple of songs that uh, works better in this tuning. It's basically because of the keys of the song, not keyboards, but key, like hard rates from our first album. It's in A minor. We tried to play that in B flat minor, but uh, Jake prefers to sing that on A minor because there's really high stuff. So I just tune the guitar half step down with the pedal like this. <laughs> Then, from this it goes to tuner, hopefully you can see the light, so now let's tune this back to C. And then when I press this, so I can check, and now it says B, because I lower the guitar. Very handy. That's only a couple of songs. From the tuner it goes to Wah Wah, and this is a full tone Clyde Deluxe I've been using. A no, 15 years probably. Sometimes I use the Pedro Chihuahua, but that's mainly on my studio board, and then I have a Jimi Hendrix Chihuahua, but the, the, I, I've been using this. It has kind of a couple of knobs, so this is broken, but luckily it broke when it was on my settings, because there's Jimi, then your standard kind of crybaby, and then Whack It, which is kind of like, a, almost like a bass Y. So it goes really deep, and when it's in a higher position, it's not ear piercing. A little bit like the Petrucci on the Petrucci settings, which I use. So, what? <laughs> From the one, it goes to pass SD1, and it does this. So now it's off, and then my clean sound is... Back to heavy sounds. Many times I add chorus to the clean sounds, so... Cool. After the SD, it goes to the delay, which, yeah, it's in front, old school. I barely use it because, uh, like I said, our front of highs, he gets two signals from me, so he can use stereo delays, put a delay to my leaf, leads if he wants, whatever sounds best in the mix. I don't really care. I, I'm kind of bone dry, but this does this. Sometimes I, I do like. <laughs> Well, this, <laughs> it was, <laughs> so the level is really low because it's in, in front. So. Well, that's just kind of like, you know, end of the songs or, or I can do crazy stuff like. So this is one of the reasons I don't like those digital spaceship stations because I wanna I don't wanna go to any banks or presets. If I wanna 
change something I want to be able to do it here immediately. But that's that's just you know for mostly for fun. And then the last thing is chorus. Why chorus after delay? Well, it was just the cables went nicely because uh, you know I don't really use them at the same time. The chorus is is, is is the last thing. So it's basically when I do clean stuff. <laughs> And the noise gate, yeah, I forgot that. The noise gate is actually, it's right after the, the SD-1, because it does this. When I take the SD off, because I don't have that much gain from the amp, so it's dead quiet. There's no noise gate on or nothing, just like with your old school JZM 800s. And the NS2, it's an old workhorse, you know, it does what it's supposed to do, it suppresses noise. <laughs> So once more, the, the signal chain, maybe that was a bit confusing because I didn't so remember or I forgot a couple of things. So first, and this number one, well, it means that it's the first pedal, but it actually means that I, I should have this on the one. So it, or if I'm not putting this on stage, if there's a check, so the, these settings are kind of good, good starting points. But uh, many times I tweak them during the so whatever sounds good on any given day. So, uh, so. This first, because then it gets the clean signal from the guitar, so it can do the pitch shifting better. Then tuner, second, again, again, clean signal, nothing else there to disturb it. And I can see that, you know, okay, I'm C, now I'm B. Cool. From the tuner, goes to wah. Wah always on the left side because I use Wah with my left pedal and I don't need wanna do this, but it's just here and then I can you know add or take off things easily. So Wah is left always on the left side. From the Wah out SD1 in, SD1 out, noise suppressor in, noise suppressor out, delay, delay out chorus in and this cable goes to the amp and that's it it's really simple so I have basically one sound because I uh, I've always played like this my first tube amp JZM 800 I'd rather have one really good sound than many mediocre sounds and you know be confusing about presets and, and, and what's not so I do everything if you noticed, when I switched to clean, I, I picked a lot with fingers, lighter, use the guitar's volume, tone controls, so I'm not really relying on, on amp or pedals that much. This is just, SD1 just gives me a, a bit more, obviously wah line chorus, kinda, but mostly my sound, what I do, it's, it's the way I play, what I play, how I play. The pedals do little things, the amplifier amplifies what I do and the speakers or the new neighbor puts it out so that, you know, people can hear what I do. And yeah, I forgot to say that, I don't know that someone is going to ask, but uh, the, the solo volume, because I don't have any 
solos on or any songs. Again, that's a mixing engineer's job to do. I make sure that I hear myself on stage. And then if the mixing engineer feels that he wants to raise my guitar solo a little bit or add delay, then he does that. Or she. I just play. Hopefully this was interesting and informative and maybe you get some ideas to your own lyric. But it's, it's amazing because I used to tour with so many years with rental amps because obviously I can't fly with these. With this one, with the pedal bar, with this one, I can fly anywhere, do a show with my rig, don't have to rely on rental back, rental back line, except the cabinet, but you know, Marshall cabinet, it's a Marshall cabinet. <laughs> No, whatever. You know, one amp, real knobs. There's four channels, but I only use one. And, you know, if I want more bass, I down more bass here. No need to go to any menus. More treble. Oh, the sound is a bit tart. Let's down more treble. You know, simple, effective, less things to break up. Thanks for watching. And hey, see you on, on, on tour. We do some Cyrosos on this summer round, but uh, we're actually going to start the tour after the album. Album release in August. The tour starts a bit later, so uh, hopefully we'll see you on, on the on the road. The, check out the Cyrus website and stuff. There will be when those are official, the tours and everything. The shows will be announced. All right, now thanks for watching. All the best. Bye.